hello everybody and welcome back to another video if you're new here welcome 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 to the Leo Vogel fam don't forget to hit the subscribe button and also the notification button so you don't miss a video from me and if you're a regular subscriber welcome back to another video I'm so so happy to have you all here with me today don't forget to follow me on all of my social links there down below be a part of the family and of course here is my Instagram somewhere here go ahead and follow me there too so you don't miss out on what I post there I'm so sorry one second and of course if you haven't already check out my website www.lewavogel.com all the good stuff is there let's just get right into this video I am sharing this personal personal testimony with you all in the hopes that if it just helps one person all glory to God and that is all that I aspire to do on this platform is God all the glory and honor that he deserves because honestly all of this where I'm at right now is because of him I'm just going to start off with a Bible verse and I'm going to put that here on the screen and it is from Isaiah 55 verse 8 and it reads for my thoughts are not your thoughts neither are your ways my ways declares the Lord that Bible verse is so so strong and that Bible verse is the foundation of what got me to this point. Number one reason why I stopped drinking alcohol is of course because of the Lord and the Lord had allowed certain situations and events to occur in my life which led me to really coming back to him and hearing the Holy Spirit lead me to receive the message that I really needed to stop drinking alcohol and really come back to my foundation. Leading up to that time and leading up to those events, I have had a very, very close knit circle of friends, very, very close to my heart and they had been telling me constantly that it was their prayer for me that I could get to a point where I wasn't drinking excessively like I was. And so I came into my 30s, I struggled with it a bit and I realized that I really was entering a huge shift in my life and I needed to have the maturity and I needed to have that discernment and obedience in my heart to listen to what the Lord was trying to tell me. Basically the events and circumstances that happened at that time in my life which was I think yeah a couple of years ago and coming to now I can reflect back and honestly testify that the Lord had allowed those situations to happen so that he could show me what he wanted for me and my future and so he caught me in all of that mess and that turmoil and maybe one day I'll be able to share that with you all I guess if that's something that you want to hear and yeah just give me a bit of encouragement drop it down in the comments section and let's just pray on it and see if the Lord leads me to share that with you all but those very people were just being that support system and allowing me to go through that whole journey while being so patient and still praying for me and still hoping that I would see that this was just not what the Lord had planned for me. So number one was of course God and that shift change in my life to bring me back to Him. Yes, He is the reason for every season. <laughs> and so once having realized that I needed to accept this shift change in my life, I was then able to notice and flag myself in the behavioral patterns that I was displaying. And obviously I had gone from social drinking to drinking excessively where it was just not healthy. And I was able then to build up the courage and the strength to do the internal work to know that I was drinking to really battle the circumstances that I was going through and use it as a distraction as opposed to dealing with those issues front on and looking to God for that guidance. So having gone through that journey, the third thing that led me to completely stopping alcohol was working on the root causes and the reasons as to why I was drinking and pouring all this time and energy into drinking, you know, just excessively, not even social drinking, just drinking a lot. That was something that I had to flag for myself and be like, 
this is not your future and this is not what you need to be doing. The fourth thing, of course, is that it is a very expensive exercise. I decided also to stop drinking, not only because I had that discernment in my heart to know that it was wrong, but also because it was just a ridiculous amount of money. I was just spending so much money unnecessarily and I would be regretting it after and it was just this destructive cycle of wanting to have fun, wanting to get drunk with friends and then dealing with, oh my goodness, I've spent this much amount of money, like this is just wrong. And so that was a big red flag to me. And again, I go back to that verse where the Lord's ways are not our ways and his thoughts are not our thoughts. And so he allowed me to go through those events that were honestly really challenging for me and he allowed me to go through them to get to a point where I could identify my behavioral patterns and listen to the Holy Spirit and have that discernment to to break the cycle and just stop that behavior. The fifth thing that led me to stopping alcohol completely was realizing that I don't need to drink to have a good time and I wanted to focus more on quality of life coming into my 30s that meant building a stronger foundation for myself, for my future and also just spending time with those that matter, with those that I love and focusing on the quality of life eating well, living a healthy lifestyle, exercising, you know, getting to my fitness goals, drinking, partying and excessively drinking obviously was taking away from that and always putting me on the back burner like I would work so hard to get to a point for example with a fitness goal and it would just take one night to just bring me right back to where I was before and so those are the five reasons why I stopped drinking alcohol and I am honestly so much happier I am not saying that alcohol is bad and you should stop drinking too I'm not saying that if that is something that you want to try to do to stop drinking I encourage you to do it because sharing this testimony with you I'm definitely in a better place in my life I'm happier than I've ever been and I'm saving a whole lot more and honestly just being brought here by God to see that that wasn't what he had planned for me and that was not the way he wanted me to go down and that was not the right path for me and keeping my vision and my attention on the Lord vertically and listening to what he wants me to do and of course encompassing that with everyone around me those that love me and care for me and just being better for the Lord and for them as a whole has just been the greatest blessing and so I hope this video has helped you and if you've got any questions just let me know in the comment section below it's been such a such an amazing feeling to share this with you all and I know a lot of you have been writing to me and asking for me to unpack all of this and share with you on a more personal level and honestly I'm um, by the grace of God I'm able to do that and I'm just so happy to do it and walk this journey of life with you Whoever's watching this, if this has helped you, I'm so grateful. Praise the Lord and know that Jesus loves you. He loves you very much and I love you too. And I hope that you have a wonderful week and I will see you in the next video. Bye for now.